Hi, I'm Jackie Van Riller and I'm your beauty magician. And today I want to talk about um, using specific reflexology points to relieve anxiety. So something that's come up with a lot of my clients lately and I feel like it's a um, kind of a hidden problem we don't talk a lot about and that's just that feeling of anxiousness that you just can't get rid of. A lot of times people turn to harsh medications that may have um, some serious side effects. But reflexology works really well with anxiety because the point of reflexology is to send calming and relaxing signals throughout your body. Um, and what happens when we're stressed is we end up sending these stress signals throughout our body and that causes us to be anxious and causes diseases and it causes aging in our body. So what does anxiety look like on your face? Um, a lot of my clients who have anxiety, I've noticed that they have a lot of puffiness or congestion in their forehead or they may have redness or um, dry skin kind of in this area. So the forehead is an area that's kind of associated with the brain and the nervous system. So today I'm gonna to use this tool here, which is the little hammer, and I'm gonna show you how to stimulate specific reflexology points. But you can also use a tool like this to, to detect certain points. So at this tool, you would come in and just find the point that you're looking for, and you can either hold it or you can just do circles in the area. Either way, you're gonna get that point. If you don't have tools, you can also use your knuckle. And just kind of get in here this way. You're not gonna feel the point as specifically, but you can kind of just massage that same area. Um, you don't need to do it hard. You just want it to feel good. It should never hurt. Um, or you can use a tool like this one and just get the whole area of the forehead. This is really nice to use like before you go to bed and this will also help to drain out that congestion that you may have in your forehead if you are having those feelings of anxiety on a regular basis. But for now, we're gonna go through this and I'm going to point out specific points and tell you what each point can be used for. Um, I'm going to use this tip of the hammer. This is the yang side, so it's gonna be more stimulating, but this side is the yin side. It's gonna be more dispersing and you can use whichever side feels better. What I recommend is tapping on the point, the first point, and feeling, does this side feel better? Or does this side feel better? Whichever side feels better for you is the side that you should use. So the first point we are gonna get is point 124. It's where I have been tapping, and you're gonna find that by locating the center of your forehead and moving outwards. And it's going to be kind of on the outside of your eye or your iris, so kind of up in this area. I'm lucky I have a little point right there to, to um, to signify my 1.124, and then on the other side, it's gonna be about the same distance. So about here and here. So I'm gonna tap each point for about 30 seconds. Point 124 is um, one of your body's main relaxation points. So points 124 and 34 are usually used together because they provide deep relaxation, pain relief, and a sedative effect. So be sure to take some nice deep breaths while you're doing this. Close your eyes and just feel the sensations going through your body. Let's get the other side here. You're probably going to feel the points on one side more than the other. So for instance, I'm feeling this more on my left side than on my right side. And that makes sense because point 124 on the left side is associated with the spleen, which is a point that we will get here in a little bit as well. Okay, so then I'm going to move to point 34, and that's located right here, kind of above the eyebrow. And again, we're going to stimulate that for about 30 seconds. And you could go through this routine as often as you want. If you go through the whole routine and you feel like you're still feeling anxious, just throw it, go through it again or just hit points 124 and 34 continuously until you start to feel a calming and relaxing sensation in your body. The more often that you do this, the calmer you're going to feel. So just doing it once, you may not notice a huge effect right away. Um, or you may feel that your anxiety goes away, but it, then it comes back. So this is just something you're gonna to wanna to use on a regular basis. Our next point is point 103, and point 103 is located right in the middle of your forehead. So that's gonna be about right here. Point 103 is the point for the mind. 
So this helps to calm your mind, um, get yourself out of your head. This is a good point to use if you're somebody who tends to be, um, tends to overthink things constantly be spinning ideas around in your head. And it's also a great point for memory as well. So we're gonna come up here and just tap that point. And for me, I know this is a point that I should use regularly because every time I activate, I can really feel it. So if you, the points that you feel more intensely are the points that you need to work more often. Okay, so then I'm going to come here between the brows and hit point 26. So this is kind of the pituitary gland, but this really helps to calm the nerves. And this is a point you don't want to overstimulate, so don't do this longer than 30 seconds. If you do go through this routine several times in a row, you can skip this point um, as you go through it the next couple of times. It does feel really good, though. Again, I'm just tapping gently. I'm not hurting myself. I want it to feel good. Okay, then the next point is gonna be point 37, which is the spleen. And the spleen has a lot to do with worrying. So as you're um, stimulating this point, um, you may feel like your worries are kind of going away, or um, this is a good point if you tend to just worry about things constantly to get into this point. And that's gonna be located on the left side of your face. And if you take the lower part of your nostril, or your nostril right here, it's right in the center and underneath the center of your eye or your iris. So right here. And you can just tap that point. And I can really feel that one. Okay, you can see that that left a little red mark there. That means that that was probably a point that I needed to activate. So then at the very end, what we wanna do is stimulate point zero, and that's kind of your body's regulatory point. So if you have overstimulated any of your, the points or understimulated them, this just helps to kind of bring everything back together. So I'm gonna to stimulate that by taking um, two fingers and just putting some pressure on the front side of my ear and just rubbing downwards. Point zero is located um, right if you put your fingers in your ear and you bring it out, it's just right here. So you can just press that as well. But just stimulating this downward helps to get um, point 16 and 14, which are also really nice points for regulating your hormone system and just um, actually releasing tension in your back as well. All right. Thank you for watching this. And again, use this consistently. Um, I think that you'll notice a big, fat, a big effect in how anxious you're feeling. Um, and you'll do that without using these harsh, med harsh medications that can cause um, side effects that you don't really want to deal with. So thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to work with me on a more regular basis, we can do a consultation and talk about what's going on in your body, what's going on in your skin, what's going on in your health, and how can we can use facial reflexology to help improve all of that and um, show you ways that you can do that on, your, on yourself at home. Um, if you live in Denver, schedule an appointment with me. I would love to um, see you and meet you and, uh, and help you achieve your skin and health care goals. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook for more health and beauty techniques.